Good morning. This is a great day in the Tyler Independent School District and especially in our athletic department. We in Tyler ISD subscribe to the philosophy that it's very important for a student to be a well-rounded student. And in order to be well-rounded, it's important that students participate in extracurricular activities. Today, we're proud to be able to recognize one of those extracurricular activities in our school district that helps to promote the well-being of our students as well as their academic achievement. We have present today members of the Board of Trustees of Tyler ISD who were very instrumental last night in making sure that we hired this athletic director. So, Mr. Andy Bergfeld, if uh, you would just come forward, uh, ra wave your hand. All right, thank you. Mrs. Jean Washington, will you wave your hand? All right, super. And at a later, uh, just a few minutes, uh, we're going to introduce Mr. Wade Washman, who served on a committee uh, who was instrumental in recommending this gentleman to our superintendent. Or do we want to go on and do that now, Mr. Moran? Wade, come on up. Mr. Wade Washman represented the Board of Trustees of Tyler ISD in this selection process. Mr. Washman, can you share just a few thoughts with this group? Sure. Um, we are so excited to be here today. We are, uh, you know, being part of the committee, I was a board representative. Uh, we interviewed a lot of quality candidates. But let me tell you, when Greg came in, everybody was impressed, blown away. Uh, this was the guy. And so we are so excited to have you coming on board, Greg. Uh, we're excited for the vision, you know, uh, to get back to where we know Tyler can be. Tyler is a jewel of East Texas. It's a jewel of the state. We feel like our athletics need to be there as well. So uh, do you want me to introduce him? Or? OK. Well, it was, an, it was an honor serving on the committee. And uh, we had a, a bunch of people from the community involved, you know, the coaches booster clubs. This was a true group effort and uh, the cream rose to the top. And so we're excited to have you and, and excited for the future. Thank you, Mr. Mm -hmm. Washington. Appreciate it very much. It's my distinct pleasure to present to you a gentleman who has served this school district in an outstanding way. Our superintendent is going to present our athletic director. Mr. Gary Moore, will you please come forward? Let's give him some, as we say in church, let's give him some love. <laughs> Thank you, Reverend Mason, for that uh, introduction. And again, I, I'm going to kind of ditto what everybody else has already said, but I do want to read uh, a little bit about the background uh, and was glad I had the opportunity to do this. My uh, participation is, is the selection committee narrowed it down to two people and sent those two people to me, and I uh, had the opportunity to interview uh, Mr. Priest and I also found that he's outstanding and, and uh, was the person for the job. And it, so it's going to be my pleasure to give you a little bit of background about him and then bring him forward and let him say a few words to you. Greg Priest, an East Texas native, brings to Tyler ISD more than 20 years of coaching experience, 18 of which have been at the coll collegiate level. Coach Priest has been in influential in programs that include Tyler Junior College, Sam Houston State University, the University of Texas at Austin, and his most recent post as men's head golf coach at Baylor University in Waco. He led Baylor golf program through many achievements, including 11 consecutive NCAA regional appearances and 25th place finish in the 2010 NCAA championship. Coach Priest earned a bachelor's of science in health and kinesiology and a master's in science and physical education from East Texas State University in commerce. He also holds his Texas Educator Certificate, Secondary Health Certification, and TPI Fitness Level 1 and 2, uh, and junior certifica Junior's Certification. And it's with uh, great pleasure, again, I got to visit with, uh, with uh, Mr. Priest, Coach Priest, uh, Athletic Director uh, Priest, I guess at this time, and it's going to be my pleasure to introduce him and let him come forward and say something to this crowd. Well, uh, first of all, I just want to thank everybody. Uh, just want to thank the school board, Mr. Mooring, uh, the committee 
for giving me this opportunity. This, I mean, this is very exciting for me, and I'm, I'm really excited to be here. Just having the opportunity to work with, with the administration, uh, the principals, and all the coaches. Uh, really looking forward to that. And this is an exciting time for me. I know I'm looking forward to getting back to East Texas, being from Canton, uh, you know, close, closer to my parents, uh, moving them back, getting back, and uh, just getting the family here. So I uh, just want to thank, thank you again for giving me this opportunity. Uh, you know, some, some of the things that I, you know, as far as my vision of what we want to do, uh, it, it is really just creating a commitment to excellence here. Uh, and, and it's going to take a collaborative effort from the administration, just everybody that I talked about, uh, the school board, central administration, the campus administration, the athletic director, the campus coordinators, the coaches, the booster club, and the community. It's going to take everybody to get this program to where we want it to go. Uh, we not only want to excel on the field and on the court, but we've got to excel in the classroom. I mean, that's going to be first and foremost is getting, making sure they compete there in the classroom. Uh, we want to be competitive in all sports. We need to raise the level in every sport here. I mean, we want to be great in football, and that's, that's football drives the bus. And I've been a, uh, being at Baylor and seeing the turnaround of the entire athletic department off of football is amazing and, and and being able to see what doors that open up for me as a golf coach being able to get into, into kids homes knowing that football is the, is drives the bus and it helps everybody but we've got to be competitive on all those sports uh, we want to be act, actively engaged in all the feeder schools getting down there get, making sure the philosophy is the same uh, and working on those those parts hiring and retaining quality coaches I mean we it all starts you know, be, being at Baylor, I think I was a part of a, of a, just probably the greatest turnaround in college athletics of seeing where we were 11 years ago and where, where this place is today. And, uh, and it all started with hiring quality people. And that, and that you've got to have support, you've got to have quality people, and you've got to have people that care about kids. That is the most important thing. They have to care about kids. They've got to display outstanding leaderships not only in your sport, but also out in the community. Uh, they got to be passionate about coaching, but they also have to be passionate about being teachers. Uh, and they're motivated to get out and learn. Uh, we want to also make sure that we, that we support, support, we promote, and we reflect the mission of Tyler ISD. Uh, you know, going through and reading that, we, we want to make sure we provide life skills for the students, prepare them, make sure they understand what teamwork is, uh, all, all the things that they're expected uh, and, and, and getting there. So uh, once again, I just want to thank you guys for everything. Uh, I, I'm truly excited. I'm ready to hit the ground running here. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm looking forward to getting to meet everybody. I, I only know actually one coach, and I coached with her. That was where I started out with, with the volleyball coach. And so I'm uh, getting, being able to reconnect there. So I, I really am. This is an exciting time for me, uh, getting the family back here. Uh, you know, we're going to have to sell a house and do those things before we can f officially move here. But, but once we do, we're ready to get back to Tyler and, and, uh, and become a part of this community. So thank you again, and like, really just like to open it up for questions or however we need to do it. This is easy. <laughs> I, could I just uh, say something while everybody's thinking about questions? Uh, if there's any members of the committee that served on the committee, I'd like to recognize everyone if you would please stand up if you were here on the committee. I, I know we have a, a couple of them I recognize back there. Thank you all again for your yes. service on the committee. <laughs> I've been there 11 years, uh, so I think I started in 2000, 2003, so 11 years. Okay, and I think we're going to do some one-on-one -on -one interviews, so if you want to stay okay. with the media afterwards for a few minutes, then we'll get those arranged. Okay, that'd be great. Okay. All right, thank you very much, and, and trust me, I have open door. Make sure you come by and see me, so anytime it is open to you guys, and i and, uh, love, to, love to be able to meet everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank each one of you for coming to support our new athletic director and a special 
thanks to our news media. It's very important that we have support of our news media and our school district because we must all work together so that we can promote educational excellence. So at this time, these are all yours. Thank you. <laughs>